In today's lesson, you are expected to describe how the nervous system coordinates and regulates the feedback mechanisms to maintain homeostasis. Look at the image. What will happen if one stone is removed in the whole arc? Why would it happen? What is homeostasis? Homeostasis can be associated with the following terms. Stability, balance, or equilibrium within a cell or the body. Therefore, homeostasis is the maintenance of relatively constant internal conditions. Look at the image. Your body shivers to maintain a relatively constant body temperature when the external environment gets colder. To maintain homeostasis, your body adopts the two types of feedback mechanisms. Look at the image, analyze it carefully, and give three words that you can associate with it. Feedback is defined as the information gained about a reaction to a product, which leads to the rapid formation of a platelet plug in an injured blood vessel. The injured area attracts platelet, and each of these platelets secrete chemicals that attract more platelets. Thus, many platelets accumulate quickly, and together, these platelets plug the hole in the injured blood vessel and prevent excessive blood loss. Your body responds to hot and cold environment.
Negative feedback occurs when a change in a regulated variable triggers a response, which reverses the initial change and brings the regulated variable back to the set point. If your body is too hot, sensors in the periphery and the brain tell the temperature regulation center of your brain. In a region called hypothalamus, the door temperature has strayed from its set point. For instance, if you've been exercising hard, your body temperature can rise above its set point, and you'll need to activate mechanisms that cool you down. Blood flow through your skin increases to speed up, heat loss in your surroundings, and you might also start sweating, so the evaporation of sweat from your skin can help you cool off. Study and analyze the cycle flow chart. There are five important elements needed to regulate body temperature. These are the following, stimulus, receptor, control center, effector, and response. How does the nervous system help to control this mechanism? When your body temperature becomes too hot, the nerves receive the stimulus. Then the brain will be activated, giving signal to the blood vessel to dilate, causing the skin to sweat and decreases metabolic rate. Lastly, the body temperature lowers. This is an example of negative feedback mechanism. Let us have some more examples. Look at the figure. This is what happens when part of your body is wounded. The break or tear in the blood vessel causes it to trigger the brain to initiate feedback cycle. The feedback cycle will end when the break or tear is sealed by newly formed blood. This is an example of classical feedback. The nervous system controls this mechanism when platelets release chemicals and attract more platelets to release more chemicals until break is sealed in the blood vessel. How much have we learned today? Let us try to answer this graphic ordinance. Give three positive feedback mechanisms and three negative feedback mechanisms. Homeostasis is an important characteristic of living things. All the organ systems of the body work together to maintain homeostasis of the organism. If homeostasis fails, death or disease may result. 